Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots. And I was chatting with my lady and um, I was talking about trust. And it got me thinking about the whole Polite situation. For, you, for those of you who don't know, uh, Brother Polite scammed me out of over a hundred grand. And um, it's, I suffer from PTSD uh, from the whole experience. But um, it still hasn't disabled my trust. Like if there if there's one thing that mo that you would learn after that situation is to not trust anyone. That's 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 the natural response is to just shut down and not not open up, not and not sh not trust your trust yourself or trust anyone after something like that. Uh, happens to you you get manipulated and used but as as I'm going down that path psychologically um, I realize I can't take that I can't take that road of never allowing to myself to trust anyone you know because of how many people have trusted me so many people have trusted me and that's why I, it's called trustware Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and decentralized applications it's called trustware you like instead of software it's software you can trust and that's why I guess I'm so passionately driven about the technology because that's the new term is trustware you know and I'm always gonna preach trust polite never preach trust and having people trust you he manipulated people's trust but I've, I've survived off people's trust and people have survived off my trust and that's just That's the world you got and you can't shut out. You can't shut your heart out, you know And the more transparent you can make things the more open your communication can be The more people trust you and the more you trust yourself and that's an everyday struggle That's an everyday battle, but that's really where the values at look up uh, auger look up reputation token the, trust is valuable you get in value with money so you can make money from being trustworthy that's ultimately what it all breaks down to but to take advantage of people's trust man who I, I don't even know what kind of demon has the ability to do that and what kind of repercussions it comes from doing that but I don't live in that world you know what I'm saying so if there's anything that I want to share with you guys is that trust is the ultimate value there is in this dimension and beyond I would say is the ability for others to trust and and believe in what you who and what you say you are sometimes trust doesn't even come with words sometimes people can just be by you and just feel like they can trust you and that you don't even open your words you know what I'm saying I'll be chilling at a coffee shop or I'll be chilling on the beach and Somebody's like, yo, can I leave my bag here? Yo, can you watch my purse? And I'm like, sure, whatever. Like, I don't even say nothing, you know? And these people just trust me. Like, so, like, how dare, how dare I shut that out? Like, once you, once you shut the trust out, you become, you don't become human. That's when you stop becoming human. It's when you, you, you don't allow, people can't trust you and you can't even trust other people. Like that's when you stop living. Like that's, you know what I'm saying? And I can't shut that out because that's what makes, that's, that's real uniqueness in being human is the, the ability to trust and have other people trust you. And it all ties into blockchain technology because now we don't have to necessarily, we can trust each other openly. Let's just put it that way. We can trust each other openly. We can build software to, to uh, share value with each other's trust and um, yeah, man, it just, and, and it secures the trust. The blockchain secures the trust because I can always look and verify everything. You know what I'm saying? And that's why decentralized autonomous organizations are the future. Decentralized applications are the future. Blockchain, because it establishes trust in other humans and people you may not ever have trust in, you will be able to trust them due to blockchain technology. So it goes deep, it goes super deep. But after just after polite did what he did to me and the way he did it to me and there's no remorse Like I feel like yo, I can't even I shouldn't even trust anyone 
But I realized, yo, that's death to me. That's death. So, you know, I'm gonna keep my heart open no matter what. Obviously use caution, but I'm gonna I'm I'm still be the good person I was when I met him. And I'm gonna be a better person after I met him, regardless of how he treated me and how he took advantage of my trust. But um, much love, aloha, peace, take care.